Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony. Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 19. The one where Pinkie Pie knows. Ah, uh, I really like the expressions in this episode. They were just wonderful for Pinkie Pie. I just had one little issue with it. I think Pinkie would have no trouble keeping a secret. I mean, she got on Twilight's case about it in... I think it was a jealousy episode between Rarity and Fluttershy. Yes, where Fluttershy was modeling Rarity's dresses and was getting all the credit as a model and Rarity was getting pushed off to the side. Fluttershy didn't like the attention. Rarity was jealous of it. They both confided to Twilight and Pinky kept telling her, no, you can't share. Yeah, she really should have been able to keep that secret no problem. I know it was basically the whole point behind the gags in the episode, but I'm like, yeah, this doesn't... I know this sounds weird, but Pinkie Pie feels out of character here. <laughs> I mean, I understand that it was a different type of secret than, you know, what she was cautioning Twilight against in prior seasons. But... And I understand she was so excited, she wanted everyone to be able to share in that excitement. But this is Pinkie Pie, the super party planner. And she saw the order. So she knows that there is a surprise planned. So by sharing the secret, she's ruining a party, which Pinkie Pie does not do, unless it's to get her special item that eventually gets her her key for the rainbow-powered episode. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking it almost should have been Applejack. That would have been more appropriate, Miss Honesty. Mm-hmm. Especially in that episode where they were key all keeping the secret party from Pinkie Pie, how... Applejack was reacting. She was like, ah, uh, I don't want to lie, but, uh. <laughs> so yeah, that may have worked out. We wouldn't have gotten that as many of those kind of antics, but it's just like, it doesn't seem like Pinkie Pie to not be able to keep a secret or have trouble keeping a secret. Though we've harped on long enough about that, why don't we move on to the things we liked about the episode? Like, wow, I've been dealing out Pinkie Pie promises a little too liberally. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, she just turned around and casually gave one to Fluttershy to bring snacks to the castle. And she didn't even bother to say the whole promise. She just went, yeah, yeah, Pinky promise. No, 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 no. Pinky promise is a serious thing. And you apparently have been Pinky promising everyone. And nice job with the filing system, by the way. Comes from her secret party files. <laughs> Uh, I also like how Mayor Mayor had a secret because she had to put that note on the back of the um, birth certificate. Also, baby Applejack, isn't she cute? She is. And of course it had to be Applejack because how many others of the main six are actually natives of Ponyville? And it just hit me. I didn't bother to really pay attention because I was distracted by the picture of Applejack. But I wonder if there was actual writing on that certificate. <laughs> Because the birth certificate would have the name of the parents. It would, but I think it was all scribbles, because I was looking at it, and if it was words, my brain would have automatically read them. Mm. Yeah, I think they were just the usual squiggles that they put in to represent writing when they don't feel like actually filling in the stuff, or have a reason not to actually fill in the stuff. Mm -hmm. That would have been a nice Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, but still that doesn't entirely cover how Mare Mare knows, because the hunt is just clues. So they could have just as easily said, oh, we're, we want to set up a surprise, you know, a scavenger hunt for Twilight, just like we used to. Can you put this on the back of Applejack's birth certificate? I'm actually thinking that Mayor Mayor actually set up the other clues as well, so she, I think she was completely in on it. Even if Mayor Mayor set up all the clues, that doesn't mean she knows the answer. I know. Let me finish. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, because I want to be right once. Okay. <laughs> you already used that up. <laughs> uh, but I had a different question before I moved on, which was, but even if Mayor Mayor was the one responsible for setting up everything, why does Shining Armor and Cadence trust Mayor Mayor? And is it because Cadence is one of the higher up slash royalty that she can command Mayor Mayor to do this? Or are they friends with her or what? Because that's another thing I've read. It's like, okay, if Shining Armor and Cadence sent a letter or something to the mayor to do all this, huh? <laughs> well, 
she is the mayor of Ponyville, so she they probably had to at least advise her that they were coming. But the mayor obviously knew the full secret, so unless she was entrusted to give Mrs. Cake the scroll that had the special order that was what set Pinkie Pie off, and I'm sorry, if that was the case, then why not just seal the scroll? Nobody would have opened it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of faults with the story overall, but I was trying to shift over to the positives, but <laughs> you're the nitpicky one here, which is perfectly fine. <laughs> well, the positives were mostly Pinky's reactions, even though I don't like that she's having such difficulty keeping the secret. Her reactions are still fun, and the way she's sneaking around and, you know, being a doorbell ditcher with the cakes and floating a cake out onto the pool, which was actually probably a pretty cool party trick, and the way she was going all Disney's Robin Hood on Rarity. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I was like, crossbow. Ember's gonna like that one. <laughs> Plus, in the window, bringing in cake. Very reminiscent of the scene in Disney's animated Robin Hood, where they set up the line, you know, start taking all the gold out, but this time cake's coming in. Hmm. Cake coming in is always better. Moving on. <laughs> oh, my poor hips. <laughs> uh, our waistline's just thinking about... Oh, there's another pound. Um, damn you, sugar! <laughs> yeah, well, after the workouts of the past two days, I am having difficulty moving. <laughs> damn you, sugar, and your deliciousness not being healthy for us? Why can't you be more healthy? <laughs> But moving on from our expanding waistlines, I should say that I actually enjoyed the episode overall, but it was just that one problem I had. It's like, this does not feel like Pinkie Pie, even though the episode itself feels like Pinkie Pie, but that premise of her having trouble with the secret, I'm sorry we're harping on it. It's just the one thing that bugged us up to the hilt. <laughs> yes, the episode was good. The setup of the premise, not so much. The problem is the episode kind of hinges on the premise. So if we're giving this a rating out of 10, I would give this, like, a solid 7. That's how much the premise problem is bugging me. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be an 8 or a 9 for me. You know, pinky. Yeah, that's always a plus for you. And, you know, for me, yay, Shining Armor and Cadence! And I'm so glad that they've moved past, you know, reenacting that childhood greeting. You know, it's gone from where people would go, wait, they skipped it to... This is the new normal. They are adults. Sounds like you have lots of nitpicks. Um, any others you haven't mentioned so far? Oh, uh, let's see. How do Shining Armor and Cadence know Pinkie Pie so well that they would know she would have had trouble keeping the secret? Mm -hmm. And if they do, she would have trouble keeping a secret. Why did they send it to the cakes in such a way that Pinkie Pie would have an easy time reading it? This kind of brings us back to the whole thing of they probably know that Pinkie Pie would be able to keep a secret. Right, but Shining specifically says, I'm impressed you managed to keep quiet this long. When has Shining Armor and Pinkie Pie spent that kind of time together? Cadence and Pinkie Pie, yes. Shining Armor and Pinkie Pie, no. Mm -hmm. Though it sounds like Pinkie Pie visits Canterlot a lot, based on the episode where Twilight goes to rekindle her friendships. Yes, but just because you visit Canterlot doesn't mean that you go to Celestia's palace, which is where the captain of the guard would have been before he married the Princess of the Crystal Empire. Who wasn't the Princess of the Crystal Empire at the time, but hey. She was still a princess. Mm -hmm. Lots of problems here and there, but like I said, definitely enjoyable, but you just seem to going, that doesn't feel like Pinky, but it feels like Pinky. Why did they mess that up? <laughs> Because yeah, the whole episode felt off to me because of that. <laughs> and who's been taking care of Shining Armor's ant farm for all this time? <laughs> or is it a brand new ant farm? As a brand new ant farm, why get him a brand new ant farm? He's just visiting. Mm -hmm. His reactions, though, were awesome. Mm -hmm. The horror, the horror of that poor comic. Also, why didn't that comic just, I don't know, get sent to Celestia? Well, we don't know where all this stuff was in storage. Was this at Twilight's parents? Was this in his room in the guard barracks? No, no I'm, I'm talking about when Spike accidentally toasts the comic. Ah. Well, he just blew on it, like when you blow dust off of something, and accidentally charred it. They have not clearly defined Spike's abilities in terms of setting things on fire. 
Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Elsa's dressmaking abilities. It's not really defined. You see something happen, but you don't really understand why. Enjoyable episode, but lots of missteps. <laughs> yes, and considering what a comic lover Spike is, why would he even risk doing such a thing to a comic book? Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who expected Cadence to, I don't know, maybe actually look pregnant? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking they just found out, or Alicorns know almost instantly when they're with Full, as it were. Oh, bad jokes have just entered into my head. I'm like, honey, did you remember to? Uh, oops. Yeah, because we're going to be parents now. What do you mean? I know instantly when, uh oh. <laughs> I think I kept that pretty PG. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can manage to leave that in. And it also, it's nice that they've waited this long because, you know, Cadence and Shining Armor were married in Season 2. And this is now Season 5. That's like three seasons away, I think. Mm -hmm. And apparently based on fan calculations, it's only been about a year and a half in the MLP world. Though I think it's been a little longer myself. It's been probably like more like two years and a half since Twilight started living in Ponyville. Mm. Yeah, I would think so. I would think more of like a year and a half since the end of season two. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that was something that I did like, the Giddy Mark Crusaders being bored. Because, hello, they spent all their spare time trying to get their cutie marks. Like, well, now they have them, but they can only utilize their special talents when people need them. So it's kind of like Table Tree Castle Map calling. Unless there's a need, you've got nothing going on. I also like, it's a puppy! Yeah, that's what it is, it's a puppy! Arf, arf! That doesn't look like a hmm! bottle in mouth. Yeah, I'm like, she could have just made a different one. I mean, hello, just pop it and make another one. Pop, whoopsie, here, I'll make you another one. Here's a puppy. Because <laughs> at first I thought it was going to be Scootaloo, I, I don't know why, asking for like a baby pony or something, which doesn't really fit her character, but I expected it because of they were leading up to that kind of joke, and then after she got the bottle and they ran with that joke then they got the foal who was like can i get a baby this unless it would be a royal pain like <laughs> <"Ugh."> <laughs> I'm like at least they did it after the main part of the joke and then one last nitpick that flashback when pinkie pie agreed to be mr cake's backup that was a oddly specific statement yep i was gonna mention that and i forgot <laughs> I go, I did make a pinky promise. And this has been our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 19. The one where Pinkie Pie knows. Sorry, I just went the whole shadow. Who knows what darkness lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> hey, do that again, except say pony instead of men. <laughs> Who knows what darkness lurks in the hearts of ponies? The shadow knows. Perfect. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like Lux's art, you can find more of it on DeviantArt and Tumblr. Really enjoy listening to us blather on? Try subscribing. Also, comment sections there. Please be nice. Really, really like Lux's art? He does take commissions and also has a Patreon. All links in the description.